Uh, we're standing in uh, Kazarian Sands West. Um, this deck is sort of designed to be in a flowing sort of shape to mimic some of the aspects of the um, area we're in, the flow of the water, uh, the flow of the land. Um, and it connects us back up to the recreational area up in Kazarian Sands West where the majority of our upgraded facilities are going to be. What we're trying to do in this area is one, get people coming down from the car parks and the rec areas, get them down to the river and also get them into this space where we're going to do a lot of um, rehabilitation and Kazarina, San, uh, sorry, Kazarina tree planting. Yeah, it's really, really fantastic workmanship on this boardwalk. It's a black butt timber. Um, it's got a honey colour now but uh, it will sort of fade off to a grey eventually. Um, but it's a really hardy wood, um, it's uh, native Australian wood and um, it, it's, uh, it's got a really, really chunky sort of thickness to it. There's been a real appreciation for, for detail in terms of the Landscape Solutions guys really getting this, this edge really nice and neat. Okay, we're standing in the middle of the um, Kazarina Sands West Recreation Area. Um, essentially, just sort of nearby where we're standing will be the new uh, toilet amenities block. Uh, we've got our existing upper car park up there. Um, behind me is uh, an old shelter, an old shelter built probably back sometime in the 50s. Um, really solid piece of construction. We're looking at upgrading that at the moment, putting a new roof on it, but essentially keeping it, keeping what we can um, of the old old stuff in, in the site and uh, reusing it. Uh, one of our intentions is to blend in the new aspects of the um, design with the old aspects of the design. So there's a certain sense of familiarity. Um, and in saying that, we've got these beautiful stone uh, wing walls to our staircases into the uh, space. Um, that stone there is the same stone as used on the upper walls of the car park. It's from the same quarry as the original walls and the same guy who uh, was involved in the construction of the original walls um, sold uh, the guys constructing this space the exact same stone. So there's uh, almost that the historical lineage um, coming through into the new aspects of the space. So one of our big priorities in the project was to allow um, everybody to access the space. So we're talking um, elderly people, kids, uh, people in wheelchairs, um, providing them with access to all the facilities um, right down to the river space. Uh, it was a big, big priority um, to us because the old Kazarina Sands, although it had, had a little bit of um, accessibility, it was really quite restrictive in who could come down here. Uh, these will be delivering people down to paths that aren't in yet, but the path system will connect everybody between uh, shelters, barbecues and the toilet box. Um, this is some of our garden bed walls. So we're going to have uh, garden beds flowing between the two spaces. Again, another sort of uh, impression of connection between the three spaces, the car park, the recreation area, and the um, uh, riparian, the river zone down there. Um, the concrete walls have gone in, and they're just sort of filling in, backfilling in soil behind that now, so that they can actually lay the ramps. So the ramps are designed to deliver people down on an easy grade. Um, down to this area where they can then access all the facilities. I mean, people often think about access wall being primarily based around just getting, getting in and out of a building, but there's a lot of spaces around parks, you know, like streets, uh, shopping centres, where you're in between two buildings or you still need to get from A to B, and getting from A to B um, isn't as easy for everybody, um, particularly if you do have an issue with ex a disability or a vision impairment. Um, and making sure that you provide all the, uh, the items um, for them to be able to navigate these spaces really easily is a really, a really important factor. Um, you can also see that we've kept all of the original trees. It's some fantastic uh, eucalypt and casuarina specimens, uh, some of the largest left in this space. And essentially the design has had to work around those and also work to benefit those trees, uh, particularly in the car park area where we're looking to um, cut out some of the asphalt and provide a lot more room for water to be captured by those trees so that um, we can guarantee their um, longevity into the future.
where we're standing here eventually we'll end up with a beautiful um, black butt deck um, about oh, it's about six meters wide so it's a really nice generous deck plenty of space for everyone to come and uh, sit down here and enjoy uh, being right next to the river um, and uh, providing also some uh, toilet block facilities through here um, there was a real uh, imperative to just put in a few really key items down at Casarino Sands East, like the deck, a new toilet block, some uh, turfed uh, recreation open space area and some garden beds and leave it quite simple because um, what more do you do when you've got a great backdrop like the river? You don't really need to overdo it. You don't need to put in a whole bunch of um, landscape features or elements or, or shelters or anything like that. It's just all about providing a great space to be next to the river and enjoy it. Well, uh, yeah, the Casarino Sands project is happening very quickly. Um, reason being, we need to have it open um, before the main works on the ECD construction site um, begin. Um, Cotter Avenue is a very popular recreation reserve right near the dam. That's going to be temporarily closed during construction of the large Cotter Dam. And we're looking at still letting people come out to the Cotter the way they always did and even in ongoing projects to provide viewing and interpretation and access to the uh, construction of the enlarged cotter dam.